watching Dashwell Broadcasting with me, your host, Herb Dashwell. Today we're going to be playing Shadows of Doubt. It's a um, investigator type game. Yes, you play as a private investigator. Now, I've played several hours of this game, and I must say, I'm bad at it. I'm a terrible private investigator. In fact, we tried streaming it Tuesday evening with some technical difficulty. <laughs> and I ended up breaking a few windows, stealing from multiple people, uh, getting in a drunken fight, and several other events occurred as well that unfortunately you will not get to see due to some technical difficulties that occurred during the stream. So that's very unfortunate. But you can always watch us live if you're on YouTube on twitch.tv slash herb dashwell that's where we've got folks right now watching us live on air but let's go ahead and get started in shadows of doubt now we're not going to start with the dead of night because that's kind of the um it's kind of the introduction i don't want to spoil it for anybody so we're going to go ahead and do sandbox and we'll select a pre-generated city of andros see this one i've already pre-generated just to make things easier because it can take some time now i'm a bit of a uh hardcore gamer as you all know so hard mode it is that's just how it is but there's uh, quite a bit of lore to this game and it's very just very interesting lore indeed the whole world is a an art not anarcho but it's a hyper industrialist capitalist just hellscape run by mega corporations and it is um it's dark, I must say, but it's quite interesting because people still live their lives despite being in these um, conditions, I'll say. And it just, it makes for such a very, just, it's so atmospheric. And it has multiple different themes. Not only does it have the Americana of... of well, just Americana in general, but it's got a lot of um, Chinese undertones as well, as well, and Japanese hypertech. It's it's interesting, but here's a little bit of the lore. It's the late twentieth century. It's a little bit of lag. It just happens. This game's like that. It's all voxel based. Hyper industrialization has swept the planet. Yeah, you can see that. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and their first elected mega corporation president in history, Starch Cola. That's right. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Nah, we're gonna see it. We're gonna make it. I know we will. We're gonna solve some crime, and we're just gonna make it. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized Starch Cola Enforcers, which our character used to be, I believe. But in my mind, we were a homeless man that decided one day we're just gonna start doing this. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. It does. In Shadows of Doubt. <laughs> yes, we're a homeless man. We're still Herb Dashwell, of course. We're a homeless man that has uh, decided to uh, just pick up a life of crime fighting. How's it going? Ah, uh, yes. Well, welcome to the game. As you can see, it's got... Um, it is very, very atmospheric. Let's take a look at a few basic functions, shall we? We have our... Uh, crime board here. We have nothing, of course, since we haven't picked up any cases. You can see our notebook, our map, and you can see here that we have a very, very large map, and they're randomly generated, too. So, each one that you play, other than the main one, of course, is going to be completely different. You'll have completely different quests, and it's so just... It is a wonderful system in how they do it. Now... I do have some qualms with the game, notably how the fellas here react to things that you do, 
and to... Well, <laughs> let's just say solving a case sometimes isn't as hard as you think it would be. But you'll find that out in a moment. Or well, probation notice. Informing the due to ongoing issue performance of the role of shopkeeper, you've been placed under probation. Ah, oh, the poor thing. We know a little bit about Zainip Ba. Right, let's see if we can find Zainip Ba on here. See, everyone in the city has uh, their own information about them. And it's, it's quite fascinating, really, how much information you can gather about people. But, well, it's nice to meet you, Archer from Marigold Corner. I'm going to read this little note card here. It says that the password is, uh, is I think that's a 1, 8137. We're just going to do this. Now, we're not supposed to be back here, but ah, who cares? Not us. We don't care. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh oh No, 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 no. Shush, 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 shush. It's okay. It's okay. Ow, 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 ow. That was incredibly fast. Huh. Usually, you don't die this quick, but you know what? Um... I tried a little too hard at shutting off the security system, but that's okay. We're detained and we're numb. And do we have any money? I, probably not. Uh, we'll, we'll pay our medical fees and cover. Just we'll do that. I've never done it before. And look at that. A reported murder. Well, you know what? Ugh, we're feeling we're feeling fine and dandy. I think it's uh, <laughs> I think it's time that we we actually do something productive because we. Don't have any money. We gotta get money somehow. If we don't get money, well then... We can't really do much. Yes, we need to grab one of these resolution files. And you can see here... That we've got... The Ritual Reaper at 304 Gadsden House. We gotta make our way there. Earn up to 40 for photographs. Should we steal this? We could take pictures of people's bathrooms. Oh my gosh, they have guns! Uh, run! Right, we have to make our way to Gadsden House, wherever that is. Um, that's not what they said. So, we just have to keep on looking until we find it. It's around here. Oh, a sink clinic! Now, that little disc that we picked up, that's what these places are for. We hop in this bed, and we install it. We're gonna photograph bathrooms, because... Why not? We gain $40 for every time we photograph a bathroom. We can't afford a camera, though. That's the problem. So, best way to afford a camera? Take money from people. Oh, you see that I just picked up? That was a paper clip. Those are important, as well as hairpins. You can use them as lock picks. See, 5769. Let's try not to get shot. Oh, hey, you should probably let me through. I've got uh, business to attend to. Five, seven, six, nine. There we are. I didn't mean to do that. Five, seven, six, nine. And we will just leave. See how easy it is to steal from people? It really is just that easy. Here, look, this door was open. This is better for us. Uh, seven, eight, eight, six is their password, apparently. So we're going to take advantage of the fact that we know that. Um, I don't remember what it was. I have a bad memory. Uh, 7886. Good. Okay. I can remember that one. There we are. Anything valuable? <laughs> a lot of valuable things, indeed. But we can't fit them all in our inventory, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to go sell some things. Probably, no. I have a better idea. We could go back to the sink clinic install the things that we um acquired and then we can come back and i think we'll be good yeah let's let's do that after i raid your drawers of course for cash money moolah Ooh, and hairpins that's always good see now they can't hurt us easy we'll get in the bed ah nice and cozy and what are these alter height and increase power of punches no, I think we will negate damage. That's always better. I'd like to not get damaged more. 
Should we be taller or shorter? If we're taller, that means we can see up higher. I think that makes more sense. Ah, good. So now we have to go back into that room and take his other things. We're just uh, going to open the door here. I go in here. Oops. Take that. <laughs> and he'll never know the difference. Let's see if... Uh, oh, it's another sink clinic. Oh, this was the back room of that one, huh? We robbed two sink clinics in one. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. If I do say so myself. Yeah, I believe this is... It is. Oh, there's money sitting right here. But we'll take the hairpins because they don't seem to care about them very much. Hello? How are you? What can I get you? Oh, no, friend. I would like to give you something. It's these diamonds that are worth a lot of money. Oh, my goodness. And this pocket watch. Well, now we have a little bit of money. We have a little bit more money. What does that say? 6543. We could have a little bit more money. I don't see any problem with that. 6543. Oh, no. That won't do any good. They've got an actual padlock. Worst enemy. Actual padlocks. I'll take that from you. Who are you? Are you? You're not this person. I think you might be Ruth. Yeah, you're Ruth Dominguez. Well, Ruth, um... Do you, do you not care that I did that? You don't? Alright. Have a good day. Dominguez house. Let's hop to it. Right, here we are. Gadsden House. So we need to remove that pin, otherwise it's going to keep telling us, you're here, you're here, you need to... You need to go further in. Even though we can go as far as we want. 304. This is the first floor, I believe. Second floor. And third floor. Ah, that's definitely it, but the tape. Hmm. We need to be very, very quiet. It's like we're hunting rabbit. Sometimes there are police officers in these buildings that will chase you out and try and kill you. Oh, that's... Hmm. There are blood pools on the floor. An expended 8mm cartridge. That... Hmm. I like to take these address books. Usually, they have, I think, the greatest clues in... Well, in them. We need to find out who the last person that called was. I always like doing that because the last person who called was one of the last people who spoke to them. There's a phone number for that. 541-0000. The last person to call them was 587-3149. So we're going to pin that specific one because it's the one that tells us what time they called. Oh, my goodness. There's, um... This is a messy crime scene, I think. Mm -mm. Well... Ooh. Right. We're going to take the key to their house, and they're an organ donor. They are a blood type O positive, huh? Well, we know what they look like. So that's good. It's probably them. To the jerk who keeps running outside my door and messing with my mail. Cut it out. I'll call the enforcers. You know who you are. L.H. Um, well, she's been... She's had someone stealing her mail, so maybe we should go check her mail. Mm. I like to dig through the cabinets because you never know what you'll find. Sometimes you find keys. Yeah. Sometimes you find knives. Another note. You are not being followed. It's just your mind. Take the pills. Ah, yes. Work rota. Unemployed from 9 to 17. That makes sense. It's always good to look for escape routes, too. I saw that there was a vent here. We may need to come back here in case the police show up. Because they might think we did it. We will see the body last. I know that's a little unorthodox. But I'm not your regular P.I., you see. I'm... I'm different. Maybe your passcode this time. Count up from two. Count up from two. So two, 
three, four, five, two, three, four, five. That's the password. Ooh. Now that's an upgrade vial. Those, uh, those cards that we picked up and we installed into ourselves. Yeah, that was an upgrade that we got. Sorry, I can't hand over surveillance footage to anyone who asks. I haven't seen a tall female. So we know it's a tall female that's doing it. Now, this is a little odd, and I don't know why they do it like this, but sometimes it's the partner. Wednesday, outside Onyo for three blocks. Average, tall, short. Definitely same person. And then sometimes it's the partners that... Oh, free camera! Oh, wow. Hey, that's that's pretty good, actually. A free camera means that we don't have to worry about anything else. Woo! Oh, gosh, that scared me. Okay, well, there's the body. Um, They really outlined that, didn't they? Oop, another note. 9655 is the password for VK. It's a very nice handwriting. Oof. Paid. Um... Okay. Ulf paid. That's one thing I don't like is that the text sometimes gets cut off. Um, uh, two, three, four, five. No, V King. That was L. He was your two, three, four, five. That was your password. I see. Good. Now we have both of the people who lived in the house. Good. So I, before I check those emails, now I'm going to check the body. Mm, take the prince. It's always good. This is Lan Fen. Lan Fen He. Mm. They. This was their note, wasn't it? Dear Lan Fen, I got your note. So Lan Fen was the one with the troubles. Mm, their type A fingerprint. They were 26. They were born in 1953. They were short, muscular, with short brown hair. It's their phone number. They didn't have a job, but we can see how they die, but I'm pretty sure we know. Yes, uh, low caliber ammunition, 8mm, 9.32. Don't know why the hammer came up. Sometimes that does. Um, shot to death with a pistol or revolver. The death was between 1730 and 1845, Monday, January 2nd. That being now. So now that can be connected to them. This call was at 1807 on Monday. This was at 1730, meaning that this call probably wasn't for them, considering they were dead. But that's still very interesting, considering their partner had to come home at some point. Let's search around just a little bit more. Sometimes these... Uh, another thing that says their work rota, they're unemployed. I guess that makes it easy for us? I... <laughs> I don't know. All right. Now to do another round and look for fingerprints. Sometimes you can find footprints, too. But we're going to take these. That's fingerprint, fingerprint type. That doesn't usually happen. Let's pick up. Same old, same old. Uh-huh. Anything else? Who, who is this? I told you that. I'm fine. Oh, are we listening in on somebody's conversation? Who is this? We'll have to figure who. Uh, we'll have to figure out who this one is. This one seems fairly important. All right. Catch you soon, Robin. Robin. Is there a Robin in here? Robin. Robin. Hmm. Robin. There we are. 3082313. So that was Robin. We gotta figure out who that... We have to figure out, though. That's coming from the same number. That's important. 3082313. That is Robin. Robin was the last one who called. 
Okay, so we need to pin Robin down. This doesn't matter so much. 5, 8, 7, 3, and this one doesn't matter too much. What matters is that Robin called. I'm betting it's this Victoria person that's type B, but it's always good to figure out if so. New me. Ah, this is from Lenfin. Reminded that I can't make our usual date tonight, getting new cheek plumping sync disc. Nah, that's not important. Finally got that travel approval and visit my mother, of course. Don't worry, I'll see you later. That's from Victoria. So... This means that it's probably not them. Oh, oh, interesting. Robin. Can't meet tomorrow. I think you know who is on to us. Not sure. Just suspicion. Better lay low for a couple weeks till A loses interest. That is a suspicious one. Hmm. Very suspicious indeed. We may have to go check in on this Robin person. I think our best lead is this Robin individual. That's who I think is our greatest one. So we should go check out their fingerprints. And then see where we can go from there. Okay, that was a bad sign. Okay, hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. Sorry. You know what? I... Oh, wait a minute. You're the partner, aren't you? Now, wait, wait just one moment. I... You are relatively important, I believe. Otherwise, you wouldn't be getting so mad about me opening that particular mailbox. Yeah, good, 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 good. Now we should be fine, and we probably won't die. We need to go back and find where that person went. They were chasing us down for quite some time. And I believe that was the... Um, that was the partner. Uh, Victoria, that was her name. I believe that was Victoria. Missed the opportunity to speak with her because we were opening her mailbox. If it wasn't her, then she was just particularly... Oh, this is Steiner Tower. Isn't that where we need to go? No, it's not. It's where we're headed. We might have missed our chance. I've got this feeling that we should go back, though, but we're right next to Steiner Towers. Ah, the heck with it. 302. So 402 must be here. Yes. Are they home? They are home. Hopefully it's Robin. We need to figure out who the stalker is, though. That's what I would like to know. Let's take a look in the tall female. Uh, average. It says average, tall, short. Does that mean that they're all of the above? It doesn't make very much sense, but we'll see what this Robin looks like. Oh. Interesting. Well, we don't quite know who you are, but that's fine. Uh, evening, what's your name? None of my business. <laughs> what if I pay you? You're Robin Leroy. Was it to me? Have you seen or heard anything unusual? No? Do you know... Do you know this person? It's Lenvin He, good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Really into sports, eh? Saw him the day at 304 Gadsden House around 6.30 p.m. Did you now? Did you provide your fingerprints? Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and see if their fingerprints are... They are type C. Can I come in and take a look around? No? You don't want me to. That's very suspicious. What do I pay you? I'm not a person off the street. Trust me. A hundred bucks... I mean, I am a person off the street, but yeah. Let's just let's just go ahead, take a look around. You never know what we might find. That is a Lazarus Five, and that is a naked person. Um, 
Hi there. Um, who are you? You phased through the wall. Um, evening, what's your name? You're not telling me. Right, um, understood. I'm just gonna go through your things, okay? Things are very suspicious around here. I'm going to be honest. We may have solved this case quickly. Fingerprint Robin Leroy on the trigger of all things. I believe that there is the murder weapon. They were killed with a pistol. That has to be the murder weapon. If it's not, I I don't know. Right. What were they killed with? Shot to death with a pistol or revolver. This is the only pistol in the game. And we know that it belongs to Robin Leroy. They know Lan Fen. Now it really seems like they were trying to defend them in a certain way and protect them. But I'm not so certain that's the case. I'm not so certain. Yeah, 7523. That is going to be extremely important. We're also going to just do this. Ah, nothing. Uh, a pistol silencer. Now that... That's a little bit... Uh, that's a little bit interesting, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and Robin Leroy was the last one to use it. Mm-hmm. Let's look at this. Robin Leroy was the killer. I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, there's a videotape here. Robin Leroy. Robin Leroy. Things are mighty suspicious towards you, Robin. Mighty suspicious indeed. Ah, see? There. That's, that's a bad sign. Is that Robin that's leaving? Don't forget my money. Hey, hey, that's, uh... Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, I'll give you... Your name is Adam Banks. That's absolutely right. Do you know... Dan Finhee? I don't think you necessarily do know them. But could you provide your fingerprints for an investigation? No? Okay, goodbye. You have evidence that places the killer at the crime scene. Well, we do. It's the fingerprints, correct? Correct. It's the fingerprints. So what we need to do then is we need to select the fingerprint. There, inspect fingerprint. Boom. Robin Leroy. This here. Puts him at the crime scene. You've got R-O-B-Y-N-L-E-R-O-Y, I believe. R-O-B-Y-N-L-E-R-O-Y. Arrest the killer. This is going to be the tricky part. Because arresting the criminal means that we're going to have to handcuff them. And they never want to be handcuffed. I mean, okay... You can't just snap it on them and say, you're under arrest. You have to say, you're under arrest, and then put it on them for some reason. That is the way that it's done. You can't just slap it on the wrists and call it a day. But that's what we're going to have to do. Somehow. So now we can go ahead and get our handcuffs. And with the handcuffs, we'll go arrest Robin. And we'll head on back to the city hall, submit our case, and we will have done our first mission. It's one, two, three, and four. Oh, Robin, where are you? You're under arrest. Not in here. You in here? You are. Hello, Robin. Just put that down. I'm arresting you on suspicion of murder. I don't think so. That is kind of proof that they did it. Whoa, whoa, calm down. Calm down, pal. 
Okay, okay, look, we can, we can just come outside with me. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is very climactic. Oh, oh. come on. Come on. Oh, you broke my leg. Oh, come on. Oh. You are under a re Oh, you shake that thing. You're under arrest for the murder of Lan Fen He. You stay there now. I got some things to do. Very slowly because you broke my damn leg. <sighs> Maybe I'll just use the elevator. Once we submit this case, we will have solved our first murder. Now, I know that it will never bring them back, but there can be some comfort in knowing we put away a dangerous criminal. And I can sleep well at night knowing that, even though I sleep on the streets. Hopefully they've got splints here, because walking this slow is an absolute nightmare. One step at a time. Oh, never mind. We don't have to worry about it. There's a splint right here. Good, 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 good. And there we go. We're healthy now. That was easy. Let's see if we were right. And in the case, it's processing. Fingers crossed. Did we do it? We might have. Oh, it's taking its time. It's taking its time. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. We have solved the case. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And we got 500 social credit, 2,200 smackaroons, and our social credit is leveled up. Once we get to level 8, we get to retire. And that will be our goal for this. We've submitted our case. But what does that mean? For the next case, does that mean that we're going to have to solve another murder? Or are we just going to have to dig deep in? Who knows? Who knows? We have to find a picture of a bathroom. Not a picture of a bathroom. But we have to find, before we go, we have to find a place... To photograph. Since we are a bathroom viewer, it is pertinent that this is done. Just put it down, friend. Look, either you are closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Oh no! Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think with uh, this being chased by a person with a sword. Um, we will end this episode. We will see you again in our next episode, where we shall solve another murder, maybe? Perhaps. Or perhaps we'll just continue to steal things, as is the life. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, listeners and viewers of Dashwell Broadcasting. This has been your friend and your host, Herb Dashwell, signing out. Take care, everyone.